Yo, what's good everyone? A new day means another brand new game. And today we are checking out a game called Tap Farm Tycoon. Now, like always, I went ahead and played a little bit of this on my alt account and instantly I knew that a lot of you guys, especially the ones that enjoyed my extremely old islands content, as well as even some of my factory simulator content, because in this game, you go ahead and create your own farm starting from scratch all the way until you can fully automate your entire farm. And it is super crazy. I actually have somebody inside of my game right now which is more or less at least to my knowledge he's an end game player but because i know that it's going to take such a long time to go ahead and grind this because this is just one of those games where you have to put a lot of time into it i kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of a general idea on what you are going to be going after but let's not waste any more time man and let's get right into this for starters we need to make our way inside of the plot store when you first jump into the game this little buddy that's sitting over here by the trash can is actually going to come up to you and ask you for a tutorial i kind of told him no so he has a little bit of a sad face going on right now but anyways let's go ahead and make our way inside of the plots and grab ourselves a location so we can go ahead and get started and accountant stan is inside of here he says hi welcome to the plots office what would you like to do now at the very bottom you're gonna have three options plots houses as well as leave now to my knowledge i think that houses are not really in the game right now they could be potentially in the future as well as vehicles which as a matter of fact the end game player that is in my lobby right now went ahead and told me that i believe there's only one vehicle per lobby as of right now while they're doing kind of like testing and then in the future those vehicles may potentially be added into the hardware store which we'll take a look at a little bit later but anyways we're here to go ahead and redeem a plot so he says okay one second let me just pull up your file all right i see here your plot has not been loaded in yet let's pick a plot and get you set now i'm not going to be too picky about it i'm just going to pick the first one that comes up and it says your plot of land has been fully loaded let's go ahead and make our way over there now also before we move on any further into this video i know there's going to be the handful of people that are probably going to go to the game page and see at the very bottom that it was created in 2019 honestly i've searched all over youtube there's not a single video on this game to my knowledge i tried looking for it and when you join their discord the very first update that was pushed out for this game was this month roughly around uh, i want to say like three or four days ago so i don't think that this game is from 2019 maybe they started development around that time but for the most part everything surrounding it and kind of like all the information in the discord is leading me to believe that it was released literally just a couple of days ago now to go ahead and get started we're going to click on an individual block here click on the seeds grab ourselves the carrot and now at this point the carrot has been placed down i really wish i was able to go ahead and activate the tutorial again so that, that way you guys could kind of follow along with me because it was a little confusing to actually explain it myself but anyways once you've planted down your carrot just click on it again and you'll be able to water it just keep doing this over and over again until the tool changes to the one where you can go ahead and harvest now at this point you just went ahead and got yourself one xp as well as a little bit of money and you can just keep doing this all over again pretty much infinitely so yeah you can basically set up an auto clicker here if you really wanted to now i know some of you at this point are probably gonna be like wow that is actually extremely boring why would i ever want to do that and i would be honest with you at first i thought the same exact thing until i came to find out that you can go ahead and make some incredibly crazy farms so if you notice on the left hand side i currently have 17 xp and i'm gonna make my way inside of billy o bub's stuff and things hardware store if we go ahead and make our way inside of here you'll notice that he has quite the interesting tools kind of spread out throughout the store and all of these things you can go ahead and buy so he says welcome to stuff and things how can i help you let's go ahead and open up the shop and he says sure let me get the catalog going now the only thing we can really afford from here is the pipe which is 10 xp because the thing after that is 200 xp maybe we'll spend a little bit of robux here later on in the video just to kind of get a nice little head start and so i can show you guys a couple of other really cool things but for right now we're just going to go ahead and grab one pipe now let's go ahead and make our way back to our plot and i'm going to show you guys what you can do with just this starter pipe and then i'm also going to show you guys that end game players plot so you can see how crazy this turns as you make it deeper into the game so again for our pipe just go ahead click on the square again and at the bottom you're going to notice a hammer this time after that the pipe will go ahead and pop up place it down and the way that this works is it's basically going to water everything within the radius of the actual pipe itself so if i wanted to i can place carrots down here 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 all the way around and if you notice my pipe is currently watering every single one of the plants that are around it so it makes it really easy i can just go ahead once the color changes and harvest every single one of these and yo look there's one of the vehicles he is actually the individual that's going to be showing me his base which looks super crazy yo he just scooped me up what in the world this man really just scooped me up now i'm going to go ahead and place down a bunch of carrots again just so i have that going right there and we're going to do a little bit of exploring here i'm going to show you guys some of the different plots that people have around 
around me and then we'll work our way up to nelson's plot so for starters over here we have my good buddy bad bunny no not the hispanic singer but uh, just this guy right here with the big alien head currently right now he is farming i believe this is corn I i'm gonna i'm gonna say this is corn definitely corn but if you notice he's using an upgraded sprinkler so it kind of lets him water not only everything around a one block radius but also a two block radius which is pretty insane he also just went ahead and told me that he got an auto harvester but he doesn't have enough money to go ahead and get it so we're gonna show you now just how ridiculous nelson's base looks like so uh yeah this is his base man um it, it, like i said it's pretty mind-blowing so basically what's going on here is all of these in the middle are watering pretty much every single prop that he has growing inside of his plot and then this little interesting thing that kind of drops down and does a whole 360 spin that is auto harvesting every single one of the crops that are within the radius it's super crazy dude and honestly i love it like the moment that i saw this i knew that i wanted to play this game because these are the type of games that i really really enjoy obviously being able to find ourselves a really good layout the most efficient thing obviously this is a brand new game so we're going to be getting a bunch of new features all the time and just the quality of the game itself is extremely well made i have really high hopes for the future of this game and yo look we actually got somebody else in here that's extremely op x butterflies is in here and it looks like she has her own little setup a little bit different than actually nelson's but again super cool looks really efficient i mean for the most part i don't really know too much about this game so i honestly could very well be wrong but dude Dude, I just want to get to this point already because that looks so awesome. I kind of wish there was a button for me to go ahead and teleport straight to my plot so I don't have to walk. But anyways, we have ourselves 15 XP. I believe that's enough to go ahead and get ourselves the next seed that we need to get. So let's talk to Claire, open up her seed shop. And sure enough, the next one is 10 XP, which is going to be Radish. I'm going to grab that really quick and then let's make our way back to the plot. Get started on grabbing some more XP so we can get ourselves some better hardware and make an absolutely insane insane farm so again just like before to place down our radish all we have to do is just click down instead of obviously clicking the middle because we have carrots set up right now we're gonna click up top switch it over to two dollar radishes and then place these all the way around so that it's automatically taking care of the watering for us and if we really wanted to we could do our own over here on the side just to kind of make a little extra money while we're waiting for that one to water up there taking a look over here at the game passes it looks like everything is um actually insanely cheap two times money is only 89 robux two times watering 119 robux and two times xp 119 super duper cheap game passes i'm actually extremely impressed on how cheap they are i'm assuming that he probably made them that cheap because the game is so early on in development i definitely can't pass up two times money man 89 robux come on all right so we now have a total of 45 xp which means that we have enough money to go ahead and get ourselves another pipe so i'm gonna start making my way over there so i can grab that really quickly and also i kind of want to skim through the shop here really quick so we have sprinkler auto harvester and then it looks like that one is in different marks so it goes mark one mark two as well as mark three wait is there not a mark two i see auto harvester mark one and then auto harvester mark three i guess they kind of just skipped over maybe that's just a typo and then for the ones that aren't really in different upgrades they have a sprinkler a faucet as well as a hose irrigator so that's pretty cool man but huh but wait a minute this is interesting why can't i buy myself another one it, it already just says bought oh dude wait a minute i think one once you buy the pipe, you can place down however many you want. I'm not sure if that's how it is, but I think that's what's going on right now. Let's see, if I click over here, click on the hammer. Oh, it's gonna cost me $25 to place this down, is it? Let's see, 139, I'm gonna place it down, yep. Okay, so that makes a lot more sense. So if I'm understanding this correctly, basically what happens is when you head to Claire shop and you buy the seed, you're basically more or less buying, I guess you could say a blueprint for the seed. So every single time that I place down one of these radishes, I'm actually paying $2 out of my own pocket to place down that seed. So if you notice right over here, I'm at $194. As soon as I place down this radish, it goes down to 192. That makes way more sense. And the same concept goes for the hose, or I guess, sorry, it's called a pipe every single time that you place one down you have to pay 25 dollars out of your own money so that is definitely really really cool man now i'm gonna go ahead and get ourselves 200 xp so we can move on to the sprinkler so i'm gonna go ahead and be right back as soon as we've got that so give me two seconds all right so i got a little carried away there we're at 331 xp i was uh super distracted but let's go ahead and make our way inside of stuff and things now open up the shop and grab ourselves the sprinkler which honestly now i'm kind of debating on whether i want to get a sprinkler or should i hold 
hold it down until I get an auto harvester. Now, you know what? We're going to stick with the sprinkler for right now. I kind of want to show you guys all of this stuff. So let's also really quickly see how much the next seed is going to cost us, which is turnips. Oh, that's only 50 XP onions are 100 xp corn is 150 xp so let's go ahead and hold it down until we get the 150 and we're gonna grab corn we might actually be able to go ahead and grab that really quickly here let me see there we go 150 already but let's go ahead and grab ourselves the corn here next one is going to be potato for 500 xp what is this special up here 25g 149g huh so i'm assuming that these might be like the premium ones because i don't exactly know how you get g right now besides buying it for actual robux over here so if i wanted to i could go ahead and buy a thousand gold for 299 robux and then with that 1000 i can buy chili peppers maybe we'll do that at some point not 100 sure all right so now let's see what the radius of the sprinkler is if i remember from bunny's plot i believe it's like two by two so oh man this is 500 dollars just to get a sprinkler down man that's expensive all right so let's see i'm gonna place one here and then one right next to it same thing on the other side and let's see if these two get watered i'll also go ahead and do the same thing in this direction just so that way we have a general idea on how the watering pattern is for this hey butterfly said good luck on your setup carbon i appreciate that butterflies thank you so butterflies just went ahead and confirmed that the chili peppers indeed are the best one in the game right now you can unfortunately only get them with robux so we'll probably go ahead and grab those in just one second to end off the video she said grab chili peppers from the special seed shop cost about 150 robux once you get 500 cash put one down then surround it entirely with pipes you buy it for 500 and it sells for 1150 xp each oh dude we're buying this all right so let me double check here chili peppers are 449 gold so i can go ahead and get this one for 149 robux super cheap payment successfully processed now let's go back over here grab chili peppers we just bought them and now we're gonna be making some big boy moves yo i just realized i was like what is this red one up here that says zero if you click on this there's ascensions bro extra earnings tap power power tap power two extra earnings bro what all right so let's swap over to my chili peppers 500 dollars just to place one down dude i'm gonna help this out as much as i can just so we can make our money back because i need to be able to put more of these down oh butterfly said put pipes all around it. the sprinkler stack oh okay so i'm gonna put just a bunch of pipes around it then all right well we just uh put a bunch of pipes around it so perfect and get rich once it's ready let's go anyways man i'm gonna go ahead and do a a little bit of grinding here because it looks like this is going to take quite a bit of time and i will be right back to show you guys the progress that i've made and we'll go ahead and call the video right there all right so we're back and as you can see i currently have six chili plants just going i'm sitting at eighteen thousand five hundred dollars with two thousand seven hundred and twenty three xp so i'm gonna go ahead and make my way over to the hardware store let's see what we can purchase i know for sure i can go ahead and get ourselves a harvester and i really want to show you guys what the first one looks like because i did kind of show you guys what the end game one looks like but let's see here really quick i can afford the auto harvester mark one i can afford the faucet and really that's pretty much it now i'm kind of wondering right now if it's better for me to go ahead and get an auto planter mark one for 2000 xp and the auto harvester so that, that way i can just keep it flowing planting down automatically my chili peppers and then automatically harvesting them but i think that's what we're gonna do for right now just to kind of give you guys a general idea on what you can do here so here we go let's grab the auto planter as well as the auto harvester that brought us down now to 223 xp but i'm not too worried about it chili peppers are insanely op obviously that's just for right now i'm sure that later on in the game better crops will come out that are gonna make these look completely useless but let's see i think i'm gonna go ahead and remove this one right here in the middle or actually do i really want to do that i mean this one is watering all four of these all right instead let's go ahead and take out this one here in the middle and let's see our auto harvester is going to cost two thousand dollars and it looks like the auto planter costs $5,000. That's not really a big deal because I have that amount of money. But first, let's check out the auto harvester. This is what it looks like right here, man. Super cool. Obviously, as soon as my crops are available, this will go ahead, do a little spin like how it's doing right here, and it picks up every single one of my crops. Actually, let me click on it and make sure what it even... Oh, no, it only picks up these two here in the middle. So I would actually need to go ahead and put an auto harvester on this side as well. That is really, really interesting. Now, let's place over here my 
auto planter just so I can take a look at it. So this is what that looks like. I'm assuming we might have to click on this and configure it. Yep. So I'm going to click on the chili peppers and uh, I don't know what this is going to do now. Let me see. Oh, dude, it just placed all of them down by itself. I like this, bro. That is so sick. Now what I'm going to do all around it, I'm going to place some pipes so that, that way it's getting watered, of course. And there we go, man. That is super cool. But anyways, man, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys are interested in seeing some more videos on this, I'm actually going to be working on my farm as soon as I jump off of this video. If you guys are interested in seeing maybe tomorrow or the day after, well, actually the day after is going to be wacky Wednesday. So if you guys are interested tomorrow or Thursday, I can go ahead and show you guys what I end up creating. But like always, I will have all the links to this game in the description of this video, hopefully at the very top of the comments if I don't forget, but it will 100% be inside of the description. And also don't forget guys, there's only a couple of days left to go ahead and get my 50k merch. Once it's gone, it is gone forever. I will never be adding it again to the store. I don't really have it on right now, but I'll make sure to put it on as soon as I'm done with this video. Basically, it has a 50k logo over here on the side and it has its own little custom patterns that my buddy Halo went ahead and made. So huge shout out to him, man. But anyways, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like. You don't really have to, but like always, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.